In the spring of this year, Drayton Manor reopened the roller coaster formerly known as Shockwave, fitted it with a new sit down train with lap bars that completely changes the ride dynamic and opens the attraction up to shorter riders. New theming pieces have been added and the coaster redubbed the wave, going all in on the surfing theme. So does the wave ride high or come splashing down? I'm Paul from Loop Theme Park Adventures and this is my honest review of the wave at Drayton Manor. Undoubtedly, the presentation of the wave has improved. The entrance lifeguard hut is bright and vibrant, and the billboard near Miss is a nice touch. There's also a mini beach with surfboards and lots of new posters and music in the queue line and ride station. All of this is nice to see, but it is a little disappointing that cleaning up the track wasn't part of the aesthetic do-up, as it does look quite grubby in comparison. Speaking of aesthetics, the new train by Art Engineering looks more like a roll cage test vehicle than a roller coaster car. I can only presume budget played a factor here, but this train train really is ugly to look at. However, how it rides is what's most important, and once the overly sensitive restraint sensors have cleared riders for dispatch, everything is good from here on in. After ascending the lift hill, the curved drop sends riders on their way, with a nice little pop of airtime here if you're sat towards the back of the train. Your first inversion is a vertical loop, and this is where it's better towards the front of the train, as you get treated to a little more hang time there, but overall this is a solid loop. What follows though is the standout moment of the coaster by a distance and is now one of my favourite UK inversions, the Waves Zero G Roll. Lap bars make such a difference here as you're aggressively whipped through this inversion, producing tons of sideways ejector as this rider's lighter discovered. You then dive under the billboard and into two corkscrews and a bank turn into the brake run to complete the ride. Both corkscrews offer a bit of sideways whip and on every occasion I rode I hit the brake run satisfied. I personally think the Waves ride experience is a big step up from Shock Waves, and a big part of that is the freedom offered by the restraint system, which delivers much more airtime and whip throughout the ride. It's not without its flaws though, and there have clearly been some issues with the system flagging problems with the restraints, slowing down load and dispatch times, and even leading to some extended downtime. And as mentioned before, it would be nice to see the track given a bit of attention. On the whole, the Wave is an improvement on what was there before, and you can't ask for much more than that. It offers a better, more fun ride experience, and crucial has become far more re-rideable and now features one of the craziest inversions you'll find here in the UK. I'm rating the Wave a B. It's a very solid move from Drayton Manor and I hope they can iron out some of the issues. If you'd like to see my initial reactions to the Wave then my opening day vlog is up on the screen now. Thanks for watching, I'll catch you next time.